Hi everyone, this is Sarah Todd. I am the director for the Center for Career Development at Eastern University, and I wanted to do a quick video just to go over some of the basics of using uh, Handshake, which is our exclusive Eastern internship and job board. Um, Handshake is utilized by uh, hundreds of schools across the country. Um, it is probably one of the most powerful tools that exists for connecting students and employers. Um, and it's, I think myself personally, it's probably one of the easiest sites to navigate that's out there. Um, so I wanted to make sure that this is something that you felt comfortable using uh, and that you were getting involved with it because frankly, I really believe uh, in the power of Handshake as uh, a resource for finding opportunities for students. And I especially think that's true uh, while many of us are uh, looking um, for opportunities in uh, virtual and remote spaces as well. So let's get started. Um, when you first log into uh, the website, so it's eastern.joinhandshake.com, uh, what you'll find is uh, that one of the first things that it's going to ask you to do um, is to actually create a profile. And it's also gonna go through your career interests. Um, I wanna start with the career interest part because um, this is really the heart of Handshake and how it's going to build its algorithm around what you as an individual need. I like to think of it like Spotify, where it starts to learn your, it starts to learn the, the you know, um, what, what, uh, interests you prefer, what types of work, what types of opportunities, um, and, and also just sort of what your general interests are in general. So um, as you go through, you tell Handshake what you're looking for, uh, you let it know, um, you know, how can it help you? What options are you considering after graduation? Um, you also wanna make sure that you let it know when you're going to graduate. As many of you are coming into Eastern with uh, some of you with three-year plans, some with three and a half year plans. Um, some of you might stay a semester longer because you have other goals or you know, maybe you want to uh, study abroad or maybe you wanna grab an extra minor before you're done. With all that in mind, make sure you tell the system when it is that you intend to graduate. That is crucial. Um, once you're done clicking off the things that you like, you're going to click on save my career interests. You can update these at any time. So you might come into Eastern thinking you want to be an accounting major and you end up graduating with a degree in sociology. Um, so no matter what way you go, uh, that is going to be, uh, this is going to help reinforce the things that you see when you go to Handshake. Uh, the reasons why this is relevant, you can see right from the get-go, it's going to show you based on interests, what potential jobs might be a good fit for you. And uh, also it's going to let you know when some of the timeframes are for these uh, right here. Um, you know, the application for the deadlines uh, approaching in the next two weeks. Reasons why, of course, this is important, um, as you have probably already seen in your experience uh, within the university, you, if you're thinking about an internship or you're thinking about a summer position, for example, uh, or you're, you know, you're trying to land something for a particular time frame, you really do want to be thinking at least a minimum of three months ahead for whatever opportunity that might be, particularly in the internship world. I, I would even make it closer to four or five just to give you the most amount of options. There are industries that have further uh, deadlines um, where you'll have to be thinking even sooner. Uh, oftentimes those will be known entities. So that could be a nursing externship, for example, or it could be an accounting um, internship because of the fact that it has to take place during tax season. So with all of that in mind, these will help you uh, navigate the site a little bit differently and will give you suggestions based on your individual uh, selections. Uh, and again, that is found underneath career interests. The reason why everybody wants to come on Handshake is always you're looking for some type of opportunity. So I wanted to just go over really quickly how uh, these are broken down. So if you are a student saying, gosh, my major requires me to complete an internship, if that's what you're looking for, obviously a good place to start right away is internship. Now, keep in mind that you can filter these. So it may be that you really can only go after opportunities that are paid. Um, this will help you navigate that because as we know, some internships uh, have uh, you know, financial compensation and some of them don't. Uh, so that's something that you can look for. Um, maybe you're somebody who you know, you're looking for um, a part-time job, um, uh, you know, someplace near campus, or maybe next summer you're going to be looking for part-time opportunities. Um, you can say specifically that you want an internship, or you can take that off, make it 
part-time, make sure you tell it that you want a paid role only. Um, and then you can even start to go filter by industry. You can filter by any of these things. Um, this will of course show your results. Now, uh, one of the challenges too, of course, is figuring out um, where they might be. So your location filters, let's say that you need it to be around the Philadelphia area because this is, uh, that's the best thing for you to look for. You would click on that, you would show your results. One thing I want to point out is in this season uh, where many of us are looking for opportunities where we don't have to be physically uh, in the same space uh, with our employers, um, there's also remote. So let's say that you're looking for a remote internship. Um, that is certainly a possible uh, possibility. You can look for a remote part-time opportunity. You can look for a remote internship. Um, and these could be located in this area, but it also could be much farther out. So you can go ahead and change the distance. So this is gonna bring you opportunities, uh, You know, especially uh, one area I would say that a lot of remote opportunities are opening up are in the field of publishing. So many publishers in New York are taking on remote interns where they never would have done that before. So I would, uh, check out and see what remote opportunities might be uh, accessible to you. Uh, again, you can use these filters um, to, you know, to, to tweak how things however you like. Um, as you'll notice, once you are looking at some of these opportunities, they'll say things like apply externally. That means that you're going to be going to the organization's website to apply. Now, uh, if you are looking for opportunities, um, let's put back in part time. Um, and let's say, let's take the remote out of it and see um, some of the opportunities are going to be um, accessible to you um, through Handshake itself. So if that's the case, you'll be able to click on the organization and it'll let you know how they want you to apply. Um, and you can obviously navigate these uh, through the left nav over here. You can see the different opportunities. Um, and notice also you can follow the organization. So you and your, let's say that maybe you're really interested in that organization, but that particular opportunity won't fit your schedule. That's okay. You can go ahead and you can follow them. You also can bookmark the opportunity. This is really helpful if you're going between the app for Handshake and the physical website. Uh, I also like it just because it, it helps you know, I don't know about you, but I'm bombarded with information all the time. So anything I can do to have little reminders um, is really helpful. As you are uh, looking at these different roles, see it right here, if you click on apply, you'll be able to apply directly through Handshake for the job. Um, what that will also mean is that you'll want to actually work on your profile. Uh, now, for me, as a sort of temp user, I've not done anything yet. Uh, and this is how yours will look if you're jumping into the system. Notice that you can upload a resume to build the profile even more quickly. It actually will self-populate your profile with your um, resume information, which is really great. However, one little quick tip, if you have not had your resume reviewed by the Center for Career Development, may I suggest that you get in touch with us. Um, you can just email us at careers at eastern.edu, um, or you can uh, actually make an appointment through Handshake, which I'll show you at the very end how to do that. Um, but your profile is very similar to uh, what LinkedIn would be, although the Handshake world, the Handshake ecosystem um, is more specific. To, so rather than being, you know, a, a, an organization that serves um, Everybody out there, uh, Handshake is a little more particular. Um, I am a big fan of having both a Handshake profile and also a LinkedIn profile. They can have similar information. Um, if you have any questions about building your profile or you're not sure how to do it, uh, the good news is that all you have to do is reach out to the Center for Career Development and we'll be more than happy to get you started um, or even review your profile to make sure it's working hard for you. Um, a couple of the things I wanted to, to point out to you, um, you can also, uh, looking in, um, looking within the, the handshake area, you can look for employers. So maybe you're thinking to yourself, hey, you know, I, I've heard about Vanguard, they're local to us. Um, I know that they uh, have really, you know, 
good starting salaries. They employ people from lots of different majors. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, what's really cool is that it brings up Vanguard. It also will bring up information about students who have graduated and gone on to work at that organization. Um, you also can find out questions and answers about what it's like to work there. You can find out what people who, uh, students, uh, what they've said about their experiences uh, with Vanguard. It shows their current opportunities. And what you can do is you can follow them. What that means is that every time an opportunity is posted, you will get an email Email, letting you know that that organization has posted a job, which is super helpful to you as a busy student that you don't have to manage that. If you follow organizations on Handshake, it will do the reminding for you, which I absolutely love. Another feature that you might find helpful is also the Q&A. Um, for a lot of students, you know, your experience with the, with the workplace may or may not be um, super robust right now. And lots of times uh, talking to others who are recent grads, who are you know, maybe you're a sophomore and you'd love to hear from some seniors. What's cool about the Handshake uh, ecosystem is that it's really built on peer sharing information. Um, so if you're somebody that has questions about your future, you can post a question here and then other students from the hundreds of universities across the country that use Handshake can answer you. What's great as well is that it's all happening within the system. So it's not being, you know, you're not just throwing out your question to the void. It's, it's, it's happening within uh, this space and the people that are responding to you uh, are fellow students or are recent grads at other schools. Um, so I, again, I would, I would highly recommend that you consider uh, the way that the Handshake site can not only be a place where you look at job opportunities, but also it's a place where you can find out about things that employers, the employer interviewing process, um, you can do questions and answers, uh, you can browse their topics, you can see um, current, currently answered questions. I'm a big fan of how that all operates. And the other thing you can do too is you can actually explore students. So if you wanna find other students who maybe have graduated from other schools that are working for different organizations, you can do the search through here. So in a way, it is a little bit similar to LinkedIn, but it's a lot more specific to um, students who've graduated within the past couple of years. Uh, so I, again, I, I think that's really helpful if you're trying to figure out uh, comparable experiences between your career path and theirs. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention um, is that events are also being posted here. So uh, all throughout the year, there are virtual recruiting events that are taking place. There are virtual information sessions taking place. Of course, the events that are handled by the Center for Career Development at Eastern are going to be all posted through uh, the events tab. So I would definitely check these out and see what opportunities are available to you. The cool thing with these is that they're free. So make sure to take advantage of all these opportunities, um, especially right now, while you may not be able to do as much travel uh, or physical recruiting or physical interviewing, these spaces are, are really helpful um, and you can do it from uh, you know, the comfort of your own home or your own residence hall space. Um, so that's another thing that I really like. So as you go back to your main handshake page, um, and of course, please feel free to, to play around, um, you know, get familiar with all of the different aspects. Um, there's also thing if you want to explore different types of roles, average salaries, uh, you can do so here, which I think is really helpful. Um, so that's another space that you may want to take a little time to look at. Um, but I wanted to get back really uh, you know, quickly to the, as we wrap up um, to make sure that you know that you can connect with the Career Center uh, through here. Um, what this will allow you to do is you can actually click here to make an appointment. You can schedule a new appointment and it will let you choose which type. It'll let you choose what potential times are available to you. Um, and you can, you can operate that way. So that's, that's a really nice uh, way that you can make an appointment if you are someone who doesn't um, like having to, you know, send an email or you don't necessarily feel like, um, making a phone call or, or, or having anyone be involved in the process, you can literally just make it yourself. Um, so that's, that's another uh, avenue in terms of making appointments. Um, I really believe that Handshake is something that can benefit you in, in so many ways, regardless of what major you have. Um, I would highly encourage you to get started. I would highly encourage you to start favoriting jobs, start favoriting employers, um, make the site your own. The more you customize it, the more helpful it will be in creating um, you know, good suggestions for you as you go along. And of course, as always, we are 
uh, glad to assist you in any questions you have about using Handshake, um, or even if you just want some assistance uh, making sure that your resume is up to date or that your Handshake profile looks uh, as well as it should. We're, we're very happy to uh, come alongside you in any way that we can. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you can always uh, find us uh, on eastern.edu slash careers. That is our website. And that brings you everything you need to know about the Center for Career Development. You'll find tons of resources. You'll also find uh, other YouTube videos that are posted uh, right here on our main page or videos on career tips, just like this one. Uh, we look forward to helping you and we hope that you will uh, come to love using Handshake as much as we do. Thanks again for your time and we'll see you next time.